what it is, what it was, and what it will be. This your boy GJ16 and welcome back to my channel where I talk about the Razorbacks and some things SEC. Today I want to talk about the new commit from the team of Texas A&M, Jackson Robinson. Let's get to it. All right, all right, all right. Coach Musselman, the inventor of the game portal, strikes again. He's able to pull out of the portal Jackson Robinson from the Texas A&M Aggies. This guy is 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, a wing shooting guard from the state of Oklahoma, of course, from... Um, who committed to Texas A&M, a former four-star player, top 50 from the class of 2020. So really, he's in the, he's in the class of uh, K.K. Robinson, Devo Davis, Moses Moody, Jalen Williams. He's, he's from that class. What's funny is that I looked up uh, some information on him. He actually came to the hill to for a visit uh back in 2019 welcome back to the hill jackson robinson welcome back to the hill welcome to the razorback family we are happy and glad to have you one of the things that we look forward to jackson robinson doing is shooting threes he is definitely one of eric musselman's uh criteria that one of the things he looks for uh, a six 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 seven long wing that can guard, shoot a three. Uh, I don't know. Um, last year, I don't know too much about rebounding for him. Uh, you see some of his highlights where he shoot the ball. He can shoot the three pretty good. I don't know what exactly happened at Texas A and M, but imagine if we had him in a class with uh, Moses Moody and Devo Davis now. Like, we was ranked number five top class that year. I think if we had him, we would have been ranked number one, possibly. I mean, number two, possibly number one. Personal opinion. But, back to Jackson Robinson. Um, he averaged just under 10 minutes a game. He averaged 2.1 points per game. This is the reason why I said I don't know exactly what happened to him. I know he's a freshman coming in. It, it probably it was probably was like one of those cases where uh, you're a freshman, you just get, gotta get used to the, uh, the whole college. Experience, experience, get a couple games on your bill, maybe a year. Um, I don't know if that is exactly what happened this past year, cause I, cause I have to think that Texas A&M maybe have get, get maybe has given him the time and whatnot to prove to be. To live up to that top 50 ranking. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's what it is. So I can't say. But I am happy to say that we're glad to have him. Heck, one of the things that we know that Musselman can do. And that the freshman class before him. I mean, Moses Moody and Devo Davis. And that class that came in. This previous class came in. That they put faith in uh, Coach Musselman. Is to develop them. Get them ready. Be able to uh, get them the time, uh, the coaching that they need to produce on the floor. And he has had them right in this past season. So maybe coming here is something that he's trying to uh, look for. I don't know. I'm thinking of all the players that we get now. Um, I can't say that he's going to be... 
a big difference, but he might. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at what our freshmen did this past season under the, under this coaching staff and how they was able to produce big-time minutes, big-time points, big-time rebounds with Jalen Williams, big-time defense. You know, with Devo, it's like he might develop into something. You know, I, I, as I was watching this um, – video uh some of his highlights i don't know if i'm gonna show his highlights if i do it's probably gonna pop up in a few seconds <laughs> so <laughs> just in case i'm just boom pop up on your screen that that'll be the video but i don't i seen in this video that matter of fact if it does it should just pop up now So in the video, you see, uh, you see him running, screen, running screens, running around screens. Maybe he is one of those uh, give and go, spot up, pop three point shooters or players. When I seen some of his highlights from when he was in uh, high school. You see him driving the ball more, ball in his hands, able to get by the defender into the lane for a little floater, a little layup, stuff like that. You can see that potential. So he has the potential to do a lot, but time will tell. You know, we're looking at the the time that <laughs> I'm looking at the floor now, like, but you don't know, right? You don't never know if it's going to be like a, uh, if he's going to pan out. But the good thing about it is that he has time, right? So he was a freshman last year. That means he's a sophomore this year. He got, he got time to develop into those players. He's not like, he's not like uh, a lot of the grad transfer, the senior grad transfer that coming in. He's a sophomore transfer who has time under his belt to potentially get to what all of them is achieving to get to is being an NBA draft pick. That means with the addition of Jackson Robinson, that leaves, I think, maybe two spots for Eric Musselman. I'm not sure, but I don't know. If somebody knows, please leave a comment does the rule that I think also affects football is that when you add someone to your scholarship that takes a place for the next year's recruiting I believe so I'm not sure if you know that I'm gonna have to look it up but if you know that and you just give me the answer real quick you know what I'm saying before I look it up <laughs> but I want to know, that do, does it, because in football, I know that this year, because of this whole thing with, you know, allowing grads to transfer, not the grads, graduates transfer, any transfer player to immediately be eligible to start has been signed, right? So that means, I know in football, it means that, that if you take on a grad, if you take on a transfer, that counts towards your scholarships. So I'm wondering, does these count towards the scholarships for this coming year? If not, am I worried too much? Because I'm thinking about we have big time talent coming up this coming to 2022, right? So we have big time talent coming up in 2022 with you know, the, of course, the in-state guys, but then we got the cat out of California that's interested in the Razorbacks. 
do we need to stop right here with Jackson and leave the other scholarships available for those uh, freshmen that's coming in? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, man, because I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and give me an energy drink, mix it up, and I'm gonna catch y'all next time. That's it for me. Peace.